Hey everyone, this is Steve from Metaslider, which is the best way to build a slideshow on your WordPress site. Metaslider has a ton of different integrations available. And in this video, I'm going to introduce the integration with the events calendar plugin, which is also a super popular plugin, which allows you to have an events calendar on your WordPress site. I'm going to show you how you can pull events from the events calendar and show them in a slideshow format using Metaslider. I have a dummy site set up here. And if I go to the events area in the left sidebar, I have three events already set up. The key thing being a slideshow is that each event has an image. This is what we're going to put behind the information about each event. And we use the featured image area in the right sidebar. There are some workarounds available, but generally, if you want to integrate the events calendar and Metaslider, the first place to start is by making sure your events have a featured image. And then you can enter whatever other information you want, including the time and the date, the location, and anything else that the events calendar plugin provides. So once you have your events created, you can then use Metaslider to show them in the slideshow. We're using the pro version of Metaslider in this example because it has the events calendar integration. I'm going to go to the quick start area. And this allows you to quickly create slideshows either with your own images or using some of the examples we've created. In this particular case, we're going to use the post feed slideshow. This can pull information from your WordPress posts, from your WooCommerce products, and from your events calendar events. So I'm going to choose this option. I will click create slideshow. And after a couple of seconds of loading, I'm going to get a major slide in the center of the screen with the settings that I need. So I'm going to go through those settings quickly. For example, when it comes to post types, I'm going to want to disable posts and enable events. I can go through the other options. For example, I can change how many of these events appear on the slideshow. I can change how they're ordered. But perhaps most importantly, I can control what appears on the slide. So we have the title to start with. This is going to be the title of the event. We also have the author and date. This is more leaning towards normal posts, where the author and the date is important. However, when it comes to your events, you're going to want the information pulling directly from the events calendar. So I'm going to recommend we remove these two lines here. And we're going to go to the insert tag option. If you scroll down, you'll notice all of these events calendar integrations. For example, we can include the start date. So we could say from and to. There we go. I'll click on save for this event. And I'm going to see what this looks like on the front of the site now. I could go down to the right sidebar and grab the short code. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Gutenberg block to show this particular slideshow. I'll go to posts, add new post. And I'm going to call this our events. And I'm going to add a block using the meta slider option here. I'll choose the slideshow and it should give me a preview. Okay, there we go. We have the title from and to and a read more link to the main event. Here we go. This is what the slideshow looks like on the front of the site. If you want to make any changes to this, you can hover over the meta slider link in the admin bar, click edit new slideshow. And you can add more information from the events calendar if you want. You can go back to insert tag. And you can look down, you can add the address, the city, the country, the venue, all of that information here. How about we choose the address? We can add some custom text before this. And click on save. And if you want to change the look and feel of the slideshow, you can do that in the right sidebar. 
You can change the width, the height, the effects of the slideshow, the navigation options, and you can change the theme as well if you want. We have a theme where the main information is off to the left side. You can click on this option and browse through other themes available here. I'm going to choose the Simply Dark theme for this example. Click on Select. The theme is saved. And if I go back to the front of the site, I should see that the events now have a location. There we go. I can keep on going back and forth and improving this slideshow. There's lots of information available from Events Calendar to add to the slideshow. And there's lots of design and customizations inside Metaslider. But hopefully I've given you a good understanding of how this integration works. These are really two powerful and very popular plugins. I highly recommend the Events Calendar. And of course, I recommend Metaslider. It is the most powerful way to build a slideshow for your WordPress site. Thank you.